hey hello and welcome once again this reflex in this video i'll be showing you how to create a simple snoot effect simple snoot effects like this uh to make your work look more nicer so if you want to learn how i did the manipulation the background extension the color grading uh the previous video is all about it i used this particular picture there so i decided to create this new effect on another video so for me to do that i've actually created a ship well that i'll be using for my snoot effect so it's on my file manager right there so this do this is the window frame we'll be making use of so i'll just have to drag it into photoshop i'll drag it into photoshop wait for it to load up then i'll just increase the size then i'll turn it the way i want it to be if i want it to be this way if i want it to be this way so any I want it to be, you just have to drag to any area you want it to be. So once you're done with the dragging, just have to click on your OK. But if you are not satisfied with it, just click back on your Ctrl T for two free transform. So you can adjust from any angle you want, any angle at all you want, until you see fit. So once you're done with that, all you just need to do is just to click on your OK. So this is not what we will be actually needing. We just need the selection from this because it's a PNG file. So all we need from here is just a selection from there. And for we to get the selection, this is the file we brought in, right? Just control and click on the box there. As you can see, it brought in the selection for us. So this is the selection we'll be using for our snoot effect. So we no longer need this now. We just have to turn off the layer. As you can see, our selection is still there. Just have to go to your adjustment layer over here. And click on your color click on the curve click on curve wait for it loads up then increase increase the saturation increase the brightness if it's too much you can bring it down a little bit but it's not looking all that realistic enough the shape are too perfect and window reflection doesn't look like that so we're going to make amendment to that all you just need to do, do is just to go for our filter under our filter, we we'll look for blur, then we we'll click on Gaussian blur, wait for it to load up, then we we'll select the number of pixels we want it to be. As you can see, give us something very perfect, which is very, very actually nice. So, that's all for today's tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also turn on the notification icon. And no, this is not the only shape. Uh, that you can use for snoot effect you can actually create any shape by yourself if you want to learn how i create my snoot effect shape there's a video on that also you just scroll through my videos you see a video on snoot effect also so i did create is this window myself this window frame myself so you can actually create different shape by yourself also so thanks for watching guys if you actually learn it you want to from my youtube channel just drop this super thank you button i will very very much appreciate it about that thank you guys see you guys on my next tutorial if you actually learn a thing or two from my video tutorial and you actually want to promote our channel you want to help our channel build up you can actually just drop a super thank you just send us a super thank you uh you can send any amount of your choice if you are using the nigeria currency it starts from 200 naira and above if you are using a foreign country it's going to convert into your own currency directly without you having to do anything you just have to click on the slider here so if you wish to support our channel we'll be very glad and also it's going to show in the comment section that someone did contribute to our channel and we're very happy we're very glad that you did that